Soto and Chad here, and right now we are joined by our, our two great friends, Melly Playful and Tenku230. And I brought everyone here today because, you know, we're in spooky season. We all love Halloween. We love scary movies, scary games. Well, some of us like scary games. But anyhow, I asked you all a question because I wanted to prove a point, and I kind of want to discuss this answer. So I asked everyone what if they had to choose the Mount Rushmore of iconic horror killers, who would you put on it? And you guys help prove my point because there's an automatic three that everyone does. And this doesn't mean your favorite. This just means iconic movie, you know, horror movie killers. And those three are Jason Voorhees, Freddy Krueger, and Michael Myers. We all had those three on. I, everyone should put those three on. But it's the fourth that becomes debatable and everyone puts different answers. Soto, I kind of want to start with you. Who would you pick as the fourth person on the Mount Rushmore of horror movies? Uh, this is just black and white for me. It's Leatherface. Just Leatherface. How come? Because it's right. I don't know how else to... I don't really understand how else to explain that. So I've had Plus the whole entire two. time... <laughs> right, exactly. I'm not, I'm not Terrence Howard where it's like I'm going to invent, reinvent mathematics. Um, you asked me this and it was a no-brainer for me, but I guess this is a much more open question with much more opinions than I thought, which has led me to have quite, I don't know, a full spectrum of emotions on this. But, uh, you know, the way it was proposed to me was that it was like the Mount Rushmore of like 80s like slasher killers. Well, that's kind of the era we grew up in. So I, I know we kind of go that direction for the most part. True, but... right. So it's like, obviously, we talked about the first three, which are non-negotiable, right? And then, I, to me, like, Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Leatherface is like, I mean, you're talking about the foundational parts of, like, what it is to be horror, uh, a slasher killing teenagers. It, it was a no-brainer. But apparently... There's multiple opinions, and I have to be an adult and accept these opinions, and I'm, and I'm, I'm open to them. It's so, like a whole new world, I understand, but I mean, at the same time, it's hard for me. My wife was like, well, that's your opinion. I'm like, I'm sorry, it's a fact. And she's like, no, there's no way it can be a fact, because your opinion, I'm like, I'm sorry, sometimes my opinions are facts. But that's just me. I'm trying to turn a new leaf, okay? I'm open. To any other suggestions, so, so but allow right. me to retort. You, you, you okay? But you, you mentioned your wife. What was her fourth? Did uh, you say hers she to... was? Yeah, she immediately said Pennywise, which I just scoffed at her and was like, "What are you talking about?" Uh, you know that. First of all, the Stephen King original with Tim Curry. I don't care how much you love Tim Curry. I love Tim Curry a lot, by the way. Uh, that's not an iconic fucking movie. That was like a made-for-TV movie. I saw it when I was a kid. It's not iconic by any standard. It didn't change the fucking genre. So I was, you know, I was a little surprised by that answer. So that that was her answer on it. And I will say this before I get to my answer, because my wife said she had a personal preference. She agreed with your wife as Pennywise, but then she thought about iconic, and she actually agreed. I agreed with you and said iconic. it's got to be a other. Yes, and she iconic. agreed with the other face because you know Icons. if we looked outside of movies, you know, Pennywise in the books is a lot scary. You're right, the Tim Curry one. I love Tim Curry. That shit wasn't scary. I would be honest, it wasn't a great movie because it wasn't well, horror because was it was for TV. Yeah, it was. I will say it. But anyhow. I, 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 Leatherface was an option, and it was tough for me. It was an and, option. No, no, because it's one of two, it's one of two for Ridiculous. me. And because you <laughs> picked Leatherface and your stance on all this is the only reason I'm going the opposite direction, because I can put one of two. But Leatherface, Just I can what? see, because he is, he is the OG. He He's kind of the original slasher. But Soto, Late I'm sorry. 70s horror. Like, what are you going to... What are you going to say? Because outside of the first two films, he sucked. So I hate to so tell you this. <laughs> yeah, Jason was hilarious. But anyway, we'll get to I'm sorry, but if you're looking at this, I have to put Chucky on there more so than Leatherface. Oh because he lasted lame. more of the test of lame. time. Lame. <laughs> lame. Lame choice. Lame choice. <laughs> what are you, fucking a child? Yes. You afraid of dolls? <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I didn't say this dolls is my that favorite. Dolls that come to life? Like, that, Texas Chainsaw Massacre could happen. It could happen now. <laughs> it's a realistic fucking thing. 
Chucky is not coming back to life. That is bullshit. He ends up getting this bitch pregnant. It becomes a fucking oh, right, parody. Right. Anyways, look, I can see the Chucky thing, but I still think it's a stupid choice. <laughs> he's had That's more movies, me. and he, he's kind of evolved in times. Yes, you're right. Who cares about the I, movies, I, dude? Who that, cares? It's a horror Any movie. asshole can have more movies. Any fucking ass. See the Chucky? That's what you're fucking basing this argument on? Is he's had more movies in the franchise? Bullshit. I said he moved on in time. What? Leatherface had the first two, and then anyhow. Iconic. I, I, okay. Yeah. Iconic. More people recognize Chucky than Leatherface. Whatever. Y throughout time. So, thank you, Mel and Tango, for listening to this rant, and I'm going to cut this short for a little second. Because <laughs> we're going to keep it PG for the time being. Because I'm sorry. Yes, Leatherface could be on there, but I just see Chucky could as be. more iconic. He could oh, be. I mean, it's could hard. Be. It's hard. It's it could bullshit. be. That's All right. Bullshit. So, Eddie, just... the funny thing is, before we get to their answers, uh, sorry, Mel, but I did put up a Twitter poll, and I put Leatherface, I put Chucky, I threw Pinhead on there, and then I said other in comment, and a few of the comments were stupid. But Chucky and Pinhead won, and I, you know, I will leave it at that. But go ahead, Mel. What were you gonna say? I apologize. What were you gonna say? Well, when you first sent me the text, you were like, you know, the ones that come right in your mind. And as you all know, I, I'm very pop culture. I'm very horror. I do a lot of creepy cons and stuff like that. I'm really into to all that. And so I was literally from the top of my head basing on the majority of cells that I do, which I know that's not exactly what you're wanting, but I figure Icon, well, it's whoever's the most popular. And this year at CreepyCon, the most popular things that I sold was Freddy, Jason, Michael, Ghostface. So oh, I God. chose Ghostface. But so my wife said this so, too. <laughs> but us so, because Terrifier 3 is coming out, that one, oh. well, he was bought a lot. And see, I don't like Terrifier. <laughs> But so those are the ones I chose. But if I really truthfully uh, was going off of iconic for me, it would be Michael. I would say Ghostface because that was like a big part. He's a big part of my life. And then I would not even say Freddie or Jason. I would say that damn what? clown in Poltergeist. <laughs> that little okay, clown. Well, hold on, hold on. <laughs> and, it's wild. Because, Wildly out of control. Out of on the me. Mount Rushmore. Now, don't get me wrong. That is a scary scene, and we might do sure. scary scenes a later date. Do not. Absolutely. I, I love Poltergeist. And if I let's put it this way, if I put my favorites, I will say one. And I'm going to give a shout out to. I was huge in the Phantasm series when I was younger, so I would put yeah. the top because I love that. But I get that he is not iconic. I can accept that. That right. clown is not a killer. Poltergeist, great movies, you know, both of them. But here's the funny thing about Ghostface, and I know you gave that answer i texted my daughter without any you know judgment i said same question i kind of asked you who would you pick because i'm like we we're all older we grew up on these 80s you know killers 70s a little bit for you know i know michael and leatherface but i'm like i asked her because i wanted kind of a newer generation and her response was freddie michael myers jason so she had those three too with ghostface with the fourth and yeah. i was like okay you That's know their generation Correct. And, and see, the thing is, is Ghostface came out when I was still uh, young. Ninety six. So, it came out when yeah. we were eighteen. Ghostface you know, so. was Ghostface was a tribute to the fucking horror franchise. Right. So how right. does it like Ghostface become a fucking icon of the horror franchise that he's fucking referencing? <laughs> but I understand the young people like being like, okay, I'm buying the Ghostface shit because I'm too young to understand late seventies shit, but. You can't say that, like, Ghostface, who references the old-school horror, has now itself supplanted, iconically, the original horror things that it was talking about. That's ridiculous. <laughs> well, here, here's the funny thing, and my gripe with Ghostface, and my, I guess, my, outside of that, is the fact that Ghostface isn't one person. You know, and that, you know, yes, it, you know, it's like a mask and a costume, but... I, I'm amazed how big Ghostface has come because it's funny because again we asked our of son course. this and he and I will say this our son agrees with you you know he picked those four and he he's kind of more he knows more of the older stuff but you know because Jill was like hey you know what about Ghostface and he's like Ghostface is modern and I'm like Ghostface came out exactly. like, well, it's been 30 years I can't call that's not modern Terrifier to me 
is modern. That's within the yeah. last, like, what, 10 years, if that? You know, I don't right. know when the first one came out. That is modern. I'm like, Ghostface at least is a modern. You're right. Ghostface and Scream rewrote the idea of horror movies and slashers and paid tribute to these. And I can see, you know, but you're right. It is a little bit more of a modern and younger person but take. But if, you, if you say modern Sam, iconic, you say, yes. What, what has lasted it, for iconic, I think, what has lasted the longest and is still going yep. like no offense i think texas chainsaw massacre is awesome but it's not still really going people aren't flocking like when they play texas chainsaw massacre people aren't going oh man you guys gonna watch all those episodes of Te- texas chainsaw Massacre, all those the series people aren't talking <laughs> about it anymore even the video game came out and it was kind of flopped and yep. so really truthfully if you go for iconic you got to go iconic is basically what is popular among the people so right iconic now, changes days. like so you're saying iconic changes as the times change so like gone with the wind is an iconic movie but it will change and fall off because titanic is more iconic because it's newer with a newer generation no i think that uh, like for me let's just look up the definition of iconic because i'm really wanting sure. to know <laughs> tango you know what do you i know poor tango <laughs> Look up, look it up. It's you're good. Yeah, but anyhow, she became an iconic figure around the world. Ugh. <laughs> oh. But the, it, the, this is why it's funny. It's weird that all three, like I said, the main thing, and everyone said Jason, Freddy, Michael. And it's, you know, and I know everyone's got their opinion the fourth, but it's not just us. You know, if you ask, you know, if not someone's trolling, you have to have those three uh, on there because sure. they defined it. It's that fourth that I just up. laugh because I've heard so many different things. And yes, we've, you know, Soto's brought up Leatherface. And that, don't get me wrong. Great point. Like, I cannot debate that because Leatherface, you know, was the, out of every, all these guys, the original. And yes, he might be scary in real life. Yes, some guy can chase us with a chainsaw and wear other people's faces. That is scary as shit. All these guys, if it was real, is scary as shit. But you know what? I could put Jaws on there. You know, sharks are scary as shit. But I don't know. And like I said, Chucky to me, you know, just how kind of like Freddy Krueger kind of just became more comical but is very recognizable and yes the movies are absurd all these fucking movies got absurd throughout time of course. you know after the first couple you know freddy krueger the first two were scary he was more of a darker let me rephrase that then he became the, the third one he came more comical and the jokes and the one-liners you know it's funny that these three are always there but it's the fourth that kind of separates a lot of people and have the opinion so but yes i can honestly you know mel brings up a good point nowadays ghostface kind of has started to cement itself because it has been 30 years and the Scream franchise has done well. To me, the only reason I can't do it is the fact that it's not one person. It's not like a same killer throughout. You know, yes, all these killers have died and come back, you know, but it's always been someone else under the mask. But that mask, you know, is uh, is iconic. I That's why I, but I can't oh, I put, the, I can't put Ghostface on there myself, but I do understand why a lot of people do choose the Ghostface well, character. But- before I, do, is, before I I'm defer sorry. to Tengu, <laughs> no, because I want Tengu to have the point. <laughs> You're but like. I mean, I mean, I, since everybody's talking about Ghostface, I, I like in my mind, I chose Ghostface as well, because um, I mean, you're talking about like Leatherface, but I never really grew up like watching that. And I, and when I was a kid, I didn't like watching scary movies, only until I, I, I was don't. like a, a bit older. <laughs> <laughs> and and like <laughs> you still don't, yeah. And uh, 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 like Scream was p- probably one of the first kind of like it's a great movie horror thing. Yeah, it was one of the it's first a fantastic kind of movie. horror it's movies that I actually just watched. You know. Mm-hmm. So I think that's because that's how written it was, by the same guy who wrote like Dawson's Creek screenplay. I mean, it was it. Yeah. In yeah. the yeah. late '90s. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I'm not shitting on Scream. Also, you know, my whole thing was that, you know, the Mount Rushmore yeah. thing, you don't like remake. So like you have the four presidents on Mount Rushmore, right? So mm-hmm. John F. Kennedy is a better president than what the guys were on the four, right? You don't fucking put John F. Kennedy on Mount Rushmore, even though he's newer. Well, w- yeah. even with that theory, I still don't think that Texas Chainsaw Massacre or Chucky led led into like a whole like oh look everybody because i mean even though like just because texas chainsaw massacre is one of the first when i think about horror i don't immediately say leatherface when i think about horror i think about the dude from psycho that's the first thing i think or alfred hitchcock anything from him 
And, you know, so it, with that, you know, it's just something that, like, I don't know too many people, like, like, I literally had this guy come up to me and say, I can't find Leatherface anywhere. And people, you know, and that's the thing, because, like, he's not so big now. Like, being an icon is something that, you know, is something even now, even if though it's from forever ago or even current or whatever, that it's something that everybody pretty much can recognize. And when even, and I'm talking about everybody, I mean, there's three-year-olds who recognize Chucky and know Chucky. There's five-year-olds who recognize his ghost face, but not very many people recognize Leatherface anymore. So, Soda, I want to bring up a fact that, you know, kind of going to sports. And you meant the Rushmore. Mu- oh, but here's the thing. You agree. Tom Brady is on the Mount Secondary. Rushmore of QBs, correct? I, I see where you're going with this logic. You, you know exactly. Was he there 20 years ago? No. What happened? He proved himself. He and he became more well, relevant. That, all that does is that it proves that the Mount Rushmore like model does not work. For that, kind of all right, that's a debate for a different day. But you know, okay, he, right. he so replaced. That, that but I'm just saying, kind of like Rushmore Ghostface. <laughs> But you know what I? Because <laughs> my restaurant is unchanging, obviously, right? I, I've been there. I, it I don't hasn't think it, it, it can. Well, it depends. You know who's on your Mount Rushmore. I think it could change if someone. No, but can the prove. literal Mount Rushmore. The, the literal changed. Mount Rushmore. Well, you know what? Unless you get your ass up there and sorry. <laughs> let's start digging, not, guys. Let's put. So let's put like we're just, Maybe we're just thinking about it the wrong way. Do you know what I mean? It's like when you put the Mount Rushmore kind of idea on it. That's, I think, what kind of makes it so rigid. Uh, but to Mel's point, there's got to be a little bit more fluidity uh, in being able to kind of update what is considered iconic while still kind of recognizing the classics. And I don't mean to speak for you, Mel, but that makes sense, right? Yeah, that's that's pretty much what I'm saying is you kind of have to, like, it's got to be a balance in a way because you, if you're, if you're going to go with the, the founding fathers, then... Freddy Krueger's not going to be there. Who had slaves. You know what I mean? Yeah. Ghostface isn't going to be there. We're going to go even further back. We're going to go back to, like, Nosferatu. Right. You know what I mean? Well, if that's the case, it's this. Dracula, Frankenstein, what? The werewolf yeah. and the mummy. You yeah. know what I mean? That, yeah. If we're doing the Same, literal you know, Mount Rushmore. Yeah. The, uh, the devil. Yeah, no. We oh, hope you Nosferatu. True. No one else. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. I refuse to update my picks. <laughs> all right, so this kind of... But you know what? This, this is a good talk, but now I'm going to end. I want to ask one question, and th- I don't want this to become a debate, but this is just in your heart, so I don't want us to debate each other. But we'll start with Tengu and Mel, you know, because, you know, you guys have been... Well, you know, if you had to pick a goat, your goat of horror, I'm going to say your goat. I don't want to say the goat because that could be cause a lot of problems. Who's your goat of horror? One person. Um, no, honestly, Freddy scared the crap out of me when I was a kid. All right, so, Freddy Krueger. Now, now, who do you, who would you say is your goat in horror? My, Michael Myers. He's sexy. Ooh. And, uh, well, well. Oh my gosh, another, the, another video. <laughs> no, no, but no, no, no you can pick one though, but Michael only one. Myers, <laughs> You Michael go with Michael Myers. Myers. He never scared me, but as an adult, we sat down one day and we watched every single video, and it became a thing every Halloween for the month of October. I watch Halloween all the way through every one of them, and he's just yeah, he's my he's my dude. Soda, who would your goat be? Oh, Freddy Krueger, hands down. That was my first. That was my gateway. Now, and I'm going to say this, and I know I don't want to say I, I, I was going to pick Jason Voorhees. I just feel like he's the most recognizable. And I, I watched those. I watched both of those movies, Friday and Nightmare. But to me, I watched Friday the 13th more. But I, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, but here we go. It's these three again. So, all right. Thank you guys for, you know, indulge me in the Mount Rushmore. You know, we learned some things about what it means <laughs> to be on the Mount Rushmore. <laughs> Maybe we changed sure the directive. <laughs> <laughs> so right, about the we, friends we made along the way that's it and that's all we can do but thank you so much for giving us your opinions um this is a fun talk um and hopefully we can do more we will do scary scenes soon mel you can bring up that poll to guys we'll have a separate one for that yes. but thank you for joining us for this thank you for having thank us. you